there is another type of a triangle which is called obtuse angle triangle so if we take uh one of the side which has a uh, an angle of obtuse so if we take let's like, say this one so we cannot drop a perpendicular from the opposite side this is the opposite angle of this base so we cannot drop the height inside or on this base so what we do we simply drop the height outside of the triangle and it would be like this see it would be dropped outside of the triangle. So what we do in this case, we simply extend the base in the opposite direction and there becomes a 90 degree angle. So this is the height and this would remain as the base. This is how we make a height in an obtuse angled triangle. Now let's get back to the question, which was, to find out the area of each of the triangles. So if you look at an, a triangle A, it's a clear 90 degree angle, right angle triangle. There is a 90 degree between this base and this height. So all we need to do is we'll write the formula as half, multiply by base, multiply by height. The base is given as 1.5, height is given as 4.2. So all we need to do is we'll simply multiply 4.2 with 1.5. Or we can do one more thing. We can simplify 4.2 with 2 over here. So it becomes easier to solve it further, right? Because after multiplying 4.2 with 1.5, we can we have to simplify it further with 2. So why not simplify first and then multiply? So 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. Point two ones are 2. So it means we just have to multiply 1.5 with 2.2 and there you go. So we'll multiply 2.1 with 1.5, right? Five ones are five, five twos are 10, one ones are one, one twos are two. So the answer, the final answer would be five, one, three. And since we have two decimal places, so the answer, final answer would be 3.15. This is the area. And just keep in mind, the unit for the area is in square centimeters this would be the area now let's talk about part b in part b we can see that this type of a triangle is an acute angle triangle and to find the area of such type of triangle we just have to drop a perpendicular from the opposite side on the corresponding base and we can see that if we take this as a base that is six centimeters we already have a dotted line perpendicular dropped on this base and there's a 90 degree angle so it means the base would be six centimeters height would be 4.5 centimeters so what we'll do next we'll simply simplify two with six two ones are two two threes are six and then we'll multiply 4.5 with three to find out the final answer It will be 13.5 centimeter square. Basically, figuring out that which side would be the base and what is the corresponding height is the important part of solving these type of questions. That's it. Let's move to the next question. Question number four. In this question, we are provided with the third type of triangle, which is an obtuse angle triangle. As you can see, this triangle has one of the sides uh, more than 90 degrees and on this side we have taken it as a base so the opposite angle would drop a perpendicular on this corresponding base outside of the triangle you can see that there's a dotted line right so what we did we extended line y z in backward position and there becomes a 90 degree angle so this is the height and this is the base Right? Achha. In this triangle, what have they done? They have tricked us. How? They have provided us with the area. As you can see, it says the figure shows the triangle XYZ such that YZ is equal to 2.48 basis given. 
and the area is then given as 2.31 centimeter square and we have to find out the length of w x that is what we have to do we have to find out the corresponding height of the given base so in this type of questions where the area is given and one of the uh, length is given that is either of the base or the height so we will use this formula again area is equals to half multiplied by base multiplied by height but what are we going to do in this case since the formula would be used for finding the height so we are going to make height as the subject how are we going to do this first we are going to substitute all the values as area is 2.31 is equals to half multiply by 2.48 and then for height, we are going to write H. Now what we have to do, we just have to focus on making this H, this height as the subject. That is keeping it on the left hand side all alone. So let's just start solving it. If we start solving it, we can simplify 2.48 with 2. 2 ones are 2. 2 ones are 2. Point. 2 are 4. 2 fours are 8. So it becomes 1.24H. And on the left hand side, we have 2.31. So what we can do to make height as the subject, we can write it as 1.24H is equals to 2.31. We just shuffled their places, right? Whatever was on the right side, we kept it on the left hand side and vice versa. So now all we need to do is we just have to remove 1.24 from the height and it would be like H equals to 2.31 upon 1.24. That's it. What are we going to do next? We'll try to simplify them. As we can see that there are two decimal places each. So it seems to be a trickiest part. All we need to do is we are just going to multiply each by 100. So it becomes 231 upon 124. And now we'll try to divide it. Using the division table, it would be 124. And if we multiply 124 by 2, we will get 248 which is greater than 231 so we'll take it as 124 into 1 is equals to 124 and then we'll subtract it we will get 107 we'll put a decimal point over here and it becomes 1070 now we'll try to multiply 124 with 4 and we will get uh, sorry 124 with 8 If you multiply 124 with 8, we will get 992. And if you multiply it by 9, we will get the answer more than 1070. So we'll take it as 124 into 8 is equals to 992. And when we will subtract it from 1070, the answer would be 78. So if you multiply 124 by 6, we will get the answer as, we'll put a 0 over here using the decimal point and we'll get 744. Let's not keep going. We'll just write the answer to two decimal places, which is 1.86. So we'll consider the height as 1.86 centimeters. So what have we learned in this question? We have learned that if we are provided with the area along with any of the two dimensions that is base or height we can find the other dimension using the same formula putting the values that are given and making the unknown value as a subject and solving it further so we'll get to know the final answer so after solving this we are going to solve few more questions in the next video until then take care if you're new to the channel do subscribe to my channel and do share it with your friends as much as you can take care Allah Hafiz.